A disturbing health trend for people age 50 and under. Cancer rates are climbing for that group. And in the world of cancer research, doctors are getting closer to developing a blood test to diagnose the disease. Our Dr. Malika is on call this morning with those stories and more. And Dr. Recent study shows that early onset cancer rates are climbing for more than a dozen types of cancer. That's right. Disturbing. You know, researchers at the National Cancer Institute looked at data on more than 2 million cancer diagnoses in people ages 15 to 49 between 2010 and 2019. And they actually identified 14 cancers that are becoming more common in people under 50. That includes female breast cancer, colorectal, kidney, testicular, uterine, and pancreatic. Now, it's not clear why this trend is happening, although obesity and increased detection may both play a role. The good news is the death rates don't appear to be increasing for most of these cancers. And remember, though it's becoming more common, it's still rare to develop cancer under 50. And soon it's going to become a lot easier for women to get tested for cervical cancer. Tell us about that. Yes, I love this. You know, every year more than 4,000 women die from cervical cancer, which is highly preventable. And traditionally, cervical cancer screening has involved a pelvic exam with insertion of a speculum performed in a doctor's office, which, you know, many patients find painful and embarrassing. And about a quarter of women are behind on their cervical cancer screening. Now, the FDA has approved the first cervical cancer test that can be done at home. With the teal wand, patients use a swab to collect a vaginal sample and then mail it back to a lab to look for the presence of HPV, which is the virus responsible for most cervical cancers. The hope is that more women will undergo screening with this at-home test, which actually could be available as early as next month. Wow. And doctors may be one step closer to offering a single blood test that can screen for dozens of cancers at once. Yes, we've been talking about this for years, but we're getting closer, you know, including screening for our breast cervical, colorectal, and prostate cancer. They're called multi-cancer early detection blood tests, and they use a single blood sample to look for DNA fragments shed by a variety of tumors. Now, in a new study, a team in the UK looked at data from a prior clinical trial using one of these tests, and they found that screening once a year resulted in 49% fewer late-stage cancer diagnoses and 21% fewer deaths within five years compared to standard care. They believe these blood tests could detect cancers in the earliest stages, even before symptoms begin, and hopefully improve patient outcomes. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. Dr. Malika, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.